Today I'm going to show you how to put together a module number one and that is a thread shank button. First I want to show you what a thread shank button is. This would be a button that you would find in a garment that is really thick like a winter coat. So this is a winter coat that has a really large th thread shank button. And if you look at the button, when you unbutton it, in between the button and the coat there is actually extra thread that's been added in here to make a spacer. And that space helps the button to lay flat when the button is buttoned. So I'm going to show you how to make that today. And this is one of the modules. First thing you're going to need is you're going to need a piece of fabric. You can get that out of the scrap bin. You're going to need a needle, hand sewing needle, and those are in my top left hand desk drawer in a box labeled hand sewing needles. Try to resist the attempt to resist the temptation to buy to pick out a great big needle. Try to find a nice fine needle with a fairly small needle um, eye in it because it just works much better. You're going to need a button, and you're going to need this piece of toothpick or excuse me matchstick that's in the in the a module drawer, and of course some thread. So I'm going to use contrasting thread here. Uh, so you can see what I'm doing. You need about 20 inches of thread. You're going to thread your needle. First thing. And once you get the thread through the eye of the needle, then you want to bring the thread all the way down to the end and bring the two ends together. Okay. Then you are going to tie it into a knot. Be sure the knot's at the end of the thread not up at the top. And then I'm going to just trim it a little closer to the trim it a little closer to the uh, to the knot. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw the thread up through the bottom of the fabric. And since this is a sample, it doesn't make too much difference where you put it. Probably in the center would work well. All right, then I'm going to put the bob or excuse me, the uh, button on okay and then I'm going to draw my thread through the other side of the button and all the way through the fabric and out the back so I'm now back out on I'm on the opposite side again now before I take my next stitch I'm going to use this piece of matchstick and I'm going to put that in between the two pieces of thread so I'm going to lay it in between the two pieces of thread. Then I'm going to draw my needle down, my thread down, and pull it tight. You might feel like you need three hands to do this for a little bit, but it was a little awkward to get it going. Now I'm going to hold the matchstick and the button in my hand, and I'm just going to sew the button on now. So I'm going to come back through the fabric right next to the thread that's already there come up through the hole in the button and then come straight back down on the other side and then draw my thread through All right. once you get a couple threads through there then it'll hold again I'm going to come up next to the thread and then draw the thread through and I'm going to come through down on the other side And I'm going to do it again, probably four or five times if you want to do that. Okay, that feels pretty secure. Now I'm going to go ahead and pull out the matchstick. And my thread is now on the back of my fabric, so I'm going to draw my thread back up through the fabric, but I'm going to come up between the button and the fabric, not up through the button. So I'm between, see it? I'm between the thread and the button. Now I'm going to take my thread and I'm going to wrap it around the needle. One, two, three, four, five. And it's no magic to the number just until it feels secure. Probably four or five times is plenty. Now I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to draw it back through and go back down the other, back to the back again. Okay, 
Then I'm going to turn my button over and now I'm ready to take the button and secure it so that I can cut my thread. So I'm going to take my needle and I'm going to kind of sew right underneath my threads and draw it through and when I get this loop, see the loop right there? I'm going to put my needle through the loop and then I'm going to draw and that will make a knot and I'm going to do that three times. That was once, twice, and three times. And that should hold it. And then all you have to do is snip it, and there you have it. Now you've got a button that stands up off the surface and gives you some space. Put your name on it and then put it in the uh, bag on my desk for mini modules.